During the segregation era in Longview, a husband and wife opened up the only restaurant and motel where black people were allowed to stay. Now, after being closed for almost 50 years, the building has been restored. Fox 51's Ashlyn Anderson has more. From the 50s to the 70s, the White's Drive-In and Motel in Longview was a hub for the black community. As black Americans, our parents, forefathers, I would say, foreparents, man, they put a lot of sweat, blood, and tears in what they own. Arthur and Florence White opened their doors and hearts to their discriminated community in 1952. At that time, they didn't have a nice place to go. They didn't have an air, air conditioned rooms. The motels were all air conditioned with Frederick air conditioning units. From hot meals like a 60 cent hamburger basket to clean motel sheets, anyone who walked in weren't just customers, but family. Ray Charles and his group came into Longview and uh, his band, they stayed there. The later on at night, is when the jukebox got jumping, the people started partying, they, you, you know, you could hear them laughing. When there was a car hop order, the only cook in the kitchen, Mrs. White, would put the food on this tray and send it through this window to the waitress. They would take the tray of food, hop down the three little steps, and take it to the customer. And in fact, they started the uh, car hop uh, deal before Sonic was thought of never thought of uh, in Texas. I'm not for sure if Sonic was elsewhere. After Mrs. White passed away 50 years ago, the Longview business slowly died down. Fast forward to 2023, the city wanted the land they thought was long abandoned. My heart is actually firmly implanted in this building. When it beats the building, it, I mean, you know, it's, it's like the building is alive. When their daughter Audrey made their case, Longview gave the family an ultimatum, either fully restore the building or bulldoze it down. Audrey chose the former. Fortunately, the building still had electricity and running water. This place needs to be brought back. Restoring a precious inheritance that runs deep in her family. They left me this legacy. It would be an injustice for me to just let it deteriorate and do nothing with it. Ashlyn Anderson, Fox 51 News.